All right, after a very long day of driving, we've made it down our horrible mountain driveway. <laughs> and we're now in Chianti, feeding the wild animals down there. Little Mark's having a little rest. And we're just getting organized. No, you're not. Looks nice though, doesn't it? There you go, this is the house. Garden and the view. So we had now made it to Panzano, a small town in beautiful Tuscany. After the sad news from back home that we had received at our last stop in Italy, it was a nice little spot to come to and unwind. For our first evening, we had found ourselves a restaurant in a beautiful garden setting. And of course, we had a first little look at this small but gorgeous town. It felt very welcoming and unpretentious, exactly what we needed. We've just been out for dinner and now we're back home and it is just absolutely beautiful here, isn't it? morning we had our first night including our first storm last night and pretty wild all the furniture was blown around um, Mark and Izzy are still sleeping and Claire and I were off to the shop I went to buy the biggest loaf of bread the world's ever seen oh look cute Life became pretty normal over the next few days. With such a big kid-friendly garden and a beautiful view, there was no need to be constantly out and about. There was nothing to discover as such either, so we just enjoyed slowing down and taking a break ourselves. But of course we did go and have a bit of a look around the little town of Panzano as well. Lovely. Well, we are finding ourselves on the way up to the old town centre, I think, or centre historico or something. Anyway, we have a bit of a look as he's walking. Clara here in the carrier. And I didn't think he could get much older, but apparently he can. So we have a look. Part of the town, and people actually still live in there. The bell's ringing. Whee! What was that? The bell. The bell. Hello, good morning from Tuscany again. It's a few days later. We just had a a couple of calm, relaxing days here, had a visit from some friends. Um, unfortunately, Izzy got a bit sick, had a fever and that, but um, seems much better today. So today we are heading to Florence to visit friends and have a bit of a look around the city. We're going to come back here in the evening. So that's it. We'll take you through the day in Florence. She's a bit worried, you know? He doesn't know you yet. Once we arrived at Florence, we went to our friend's place and tried to befriend their cat with only limited success. We then embarked on our very own private walking tour, led by our friend Dotty and partner Davide. Our first stop was going to be the Gallery of the Academy of Florence. Mark, what are we doing? We're going to look at the statue of David, everyone. Yes. Yep. Are you excited? Unquestionably so, Suzanne. <laughs> Uh, you know, one of the high points of European art. Yeah. 
Dottie over there, she's organised it for us. Yes, Dottie's organised it. At the moment she's in a panic. She's thinking, oh, if this doesn't go right. <laughs> and is it here she's sleeping? Look, and Clara has to sleep too. Perfect. We at least made it inside and I'm noticing I'm um, running out of um, battery. The gallery is home to some of the most important painting and sculpture collections in the world and to Mark's delight, also a collection of around 50 instruments of the 17th century, including some violins made by Antonio Stradivari. With Izzy having taken up the violin, it was quite the moment for these two. The main attraction of the museum, however, is Michelangelo's Statue of David, described as a masterpiece of Renaissance sculpture carved from just a single block of marble. Lay your eyes on him, come on, do it. He supposedly embodies the city of Florence, symbolizing independence and strength in the perfect image of youthful beauty. Is he thinks? Is he thinks he's doing a poop? <laughs> Look, we got we got gifts. Clara got Leonardo da Vinci and Izzy got a colouring in one too. <laughs> We continued on to see the Florence Cathedral, which is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site covering the historic centre of Florence. It was a very pretty looking building, and its dome remains to this day the largest brick dome ever constructed. We found ourselves a somewhat quiet little corner for the kids to run around in relative safety and for us to have a drink. Oh, the bells! And of course, we didn't skip on the obligatory ice cream. We continued our stroll through the city along old and beautiful architecture monuments. The city had a really inviting and friendly feel to it, and at no point did we feel like we had come to a tourist trap. Dottie explained some of its history to us as we walked along. We also passed the famous Ponte Vecchia Bridge, a pedestrian bridge lined exclusively with gold and jewellery shops on either side. The only bridge in Florence the Nazis didn't destroy during the Second World War. Look, Izzy's on a little merry-go-round. We finished our day in Florence with a lovely dinner. And the girls enjoyed running around and dancing in the small piazza just out the front. So this is our last morning here. We've nearly packed up and we're going to leave today. Where are we going to leave? Where are we going to go to? We're going to San Gimignano, an old medieval town. And yesterday, obviously it got pretty late, we got home at around 10.30, 11 I think, 10.30. And Izzy didn't go to bed until 11. But it was nice. Uh, it was a nice day in Florence. Florence really, like, did you like Florence? Did you yeah. Florence? Yeah. It, it was really a nice city. Had a good feel about it. It looked clean and very pretty. And we had a good time with Dottie and, and Davide, of course. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you say see ya? See ya. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say see ya? See ya. <laughs> That's you. Oh, all right. See you in the next one from San Gimignano. <laughs>